Well, welcome back. It's been said that we can do more if we come together. That's just what the community did this morning in Portsmouth. Volunteers brought their rakes, weed eaters, and even lawnmowers to help clean up Lincoln Memorial Cemetery. Arisha Tolliver has more. Mowing, weed eating, cutting down limbs. One woman even using a machete to cut away the thick overgrowth around a headstone at Lincoln Memorial Cemetery in Portsmouth. The masterminds behind this community cemetery cleaning, Don Garcias and William Richardson, they both have loved ones buried here. It was a disaster. It was disrespectful the way this cemetery looked. Should no one little one have to be in a cemetery that looks like this. So they took to Facebook to spread the word and they had quite the turnout starting early this morning. We have a few people from out of town, people from other cities. Uh, we, we have a lot of people that just says, OK, look, I'm tired of seeing it too. Portsmouth resident Teresa Washington's mother is buried here. So when she caught wind of what was going on, she says she didn't think twice. And I come out here often to clean her grave, but the rest of the place looks bad. And so I have no problem with uh, dedicating my time. But who's legally responsible for the upkeep here? The owner of Yvonne Ray Funeral Establishment, Eric Ray, says it's his job to take care of it after acquiring the cemetery earlier this year. Over the phone, he told me it's been difficult to find someone to maintain the cemetery in his price range. So he's been on the hunt for a landscaper and has been working to get state funding to fix the broken headstones. Ray says Portsmouth is home. He says he didn't take it on to be a slumlord, but that it's going to take some time. Richardson says the community took care of it for now, but this has to change. We took it in our hands to say, OK, save your money. We're going to come out here and take care of our loved ones for right now, but you need to get it in place. Ray says he's hopeful it won't get this bad again. And Portsmouth, I'm Aisha Tolliver, on your side.